Hey there, E39 Source. Uh, my name is Melvin, and this is my new to me 2000 E39 M5. Um, picked it up Friday <clears throat> and am in totally in love with this car. Um, right now, I'm on, in the honeymoon phase of just really enjoying everything about it. Reality will set in fairly quickly as uh, I start fixing things on the car because there are some things that are not working correctly um, that I'll need to look into. But for now, enjoying it for what it is. Um, <clears throat> so as you see in the 2000 models, as many of you know, uh, they didn't do, this is pre-facelift, before they got the angel eyes. Not terrible, but the angel eyes would look cool. So that's certainly on the upgrade list. Overall, the car's in good shape. I mean, it looks decent on the outside. I mean, there's <clears throat> unfortunately some curb rash on the wheels. It's a little present. The front, this one isn't too bad, actually. Um but the rear one does. I'll, I'll get to that in a second, but you know, the body panels are nice and straight. I mean, she's in... There's a little gap here. I don't know if it, it was tapped or something, or somebody ran into... just bumped another car or something. I don't know. But that doesn't bother me. Uh, this rear wheel... As you can see, there's some rash on there. Hopefully it won't be too much to get that stuff refinished. Uh, and as you all know, the the rear guns in the back is pretty hot. It does get dirty, and I believe Ryan mentioned it before. Um, this car was detailed and perfectly clean, but look. I don't know if you can see this, but it is dirty. Let's see, look at that. There it is, see? <laughs> Mark. So, that exhaust really does. I mean, it... It makes it kind of dirty back there. Um, I don't know if that can be fixed or not. Or avoided, if, if you will. This rear tire, you see? Some rash on that one. Uh, body's still straight. A little bit of rash on, a little bit of rash here. Not too bad. This little gap here. Um, shouldn't be too hard to fix. It looks like it just kind of came undone. I could fix all that. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, one thing I do like is that the windows have been tinted. Now it does look darker than what it is, it's just because the shades are up in the back. But the rear window was tinted. And you can see that. I do like that a lot because <clears throat> it means I won't have to use the rear shade as much. That's kind of nice. Got a little deck lid spoiler. That's nice. Little antenna. Yeah, let me show you the the rear back here. So like I was saying, it has the shades, so it does have that option, and they do work. This one's actually new, <clears throat> and they are not cheap. It's 80 bucks, 80 to 90, depending on where you're going. Um, this works. As you can see, the leather is in, leather is in pretty good shape. Seats are, eh, not perfect, but not bad either, so I'm not, I'm not hating. Looks pretty good. Car seat. It came with the car. No, um, <laughs> the car seat, you know, I have three kids, and they fit all, they all fit in here pretty well. They're young, so it's, for them it's okay. So this shade works. Perfectly fine. Great. Awesome. This one doesn't, and my daughter broke it. I mean, literally pulled the whole thing out, and now it's stuck. So the upside is the dealer said they'd replace it with no problem. So they're not going to charge me either, because she broke it at the dealership. <laughs> Everything's looking good. I mean, you know, this kind of stuff still works, which I think is nice. So it still holds. Um, meaning, you know, the el the elasticity is still good. There's actually something in there. What is that? A piece of something. Anyway. 
So there is the back seats, headrests, all that stuff. Looks good. The headliner, I don't know if you can actually see that in the video. Alcantara looks really good. It's in great shape. So let's actually get in this thing because it is cold out here. Um, show you guys what it looks like on the inside. So, oh yeah, that's better. So inside, it's in good shape. Oh, maybe if I should feel the car, not the wall. Here we go. So I've got the wood interior. I don't like it. It's not bad. It just the wood just doesn't scream sporty, you know? So, that I'm going to replace. I may not buy a full kit because it is expensive. You're looking at between $900 to $1,000 to replace all the wood in here. But there's a guy on Beamer, for Beamer Forums that uh, uh, wraps all the stuff in a vinyl. And the vinyl wrap that he uses looks really nice. And it's about 200 bucks shipped, the whole thing, and it'll do it in a, in a day. So I'm going to take all this stuff out probably next weekend. I'll do a video of that too so you guys see how oh, that process, like a before and after. Steering wheel, as you can see, looks good. You know, all the buttons look nice. There's no wear on them really. They almost look like they were either replaced or they just didn't get a lot of use. Is that focusing? There we go. There we go. Yeah, so it looks good. Steering wheel is nice. I mean, the usual wear, but for 13 years, <clears throat> I mean, you still see the blue and red. So I really do like that a lot. Uh, the door over here, again, knobs look, or the buttons and everything look fine. Um, some scuffing here in the door, but nothing terrible. So my car does have the... Uh, the bubble mirror right the the film broke it's not leaking yet um as ryan mentioned there is a guy uh that can fix all this stuff for like 99 dollars if you send it to him and that's shipped so i'm working on that now um she'll hopefully get this removed this week and sent to him um what else what else to know uh the clutch so oh let me just talk about things that are wrong Real quick, so uh, you guys all know about the car. It's great, um, but there are problems. My e-brake, my parking brake, does not work. Check this out. What? It worked when I was at the dealership. Locked it up perfectly fine. Got home, went to pull it up. Does this? It won't go up at all. It doesn't catch. I don't know what that is. So I'm taking it back to them Monday to see if they can fix it. I'm just using the the clutch to park. So another thing is this. Oh, oh my car does have the Vanos knock, by the way. I would show you guys, but I can't put the car in park to show you. <laughs> um, my check engine light is on. It just came on, literally, when I was coming out here to film the video. I do have a few dead pixels. Right now it's not too bad, I'm not too bothered by it. As you can see I have 117,000 117, miles. Nav works, hasn't been updated but it works. Yeah, I mean, you know if I'm honest, overall I love this car. You know, there are, there are some issues. Uh, the sound system in here is not good at all, honestly. I mean if you like good music, it sounds kind of funky. Um, here, let me see if I can start it up for you guys, you, get, you probably hear the car. turn off the heater also if somebody knows a quick way to turn off the heater that's great because all I've been doing is oh no look at that see now you get to see one more thing the reset button just broke <laughs> or no maybe I did something I don't know let's see there okay that works just taps it wrong it's 13 years old I can't be too mad at it um, but yeah, so check engine light literally just came on today. But let me be quiet for a second, see if you guys can hear the engine. Can you hear that? 
turns over kind of funky. Here, let me rev it, see if you can hear it. Sounds like a diesel, it's kind of crazy. Here, I'll do something real quick. Let me drive it so you guys can hear it. It is nice, I mean, it is nice. No, no, make no mistake about it. All right, let me hush it up so you guys can hear this. So she sounds great. One of the things I've noticed, it sounds like something something is flapping when I accelerate. It's kind of weird, like like a something. Anyway, I'm going to the dealership today or tomorrow to get it figured out. But um, yeah, so it's just little things here and there that I know are going to cost me a grip. But I bought the car knowing those were issues um, that I'd have to face in owning an M5. So if you're ever considering it, just know what you're walking into. Beyond the car looking amazing, your insurance is going to be ridiculous. <laughs> so you should know that. Um, it is ridiculous. Our skyrocketed. Uh, let's see here. Everything works. Sunroof works. It goes back. No issues. <laughs> Watch it break. That'd be hilarious. Yep. Works fine. Um, all this stuff works. Lights. Everything lights up. Whoops. <laughs> you need to see me. Uh, yeah. It's great. I love it. I'll show you the trunk real quick. Not that you care, but if you want to see it. Oh, you'll notice that I don't have the floor mats in there. That's because they're in the trunk. I don't want to get them messed up. So there go the mats. Target bag. Navigation system over there and CD. Um, something's over there, I can't remember. Had to buy some oil and just to have it on tap. If you drive this car, get oil. Don't pretend that you're not going to drive hard. You're, you're, everybody hoons it up in this car. Everybody. You'll need oil. It eats oil when you gun it. Not all the tools are there, unfortunately. So i got to replace a lot of these. They're kind of hard to find and expensive to get. But I will make it my mission to get that in there. Overall, that's it. I wouldn't say you can't go wrong, because you certainly can go wrong with getting an M5. It is a lot. It is a very healthy investment. Um, so don't think for a minute that this is like owning a Civic or an Acura. It's not. Hell, even an Audi might be a little cheaper than this thing. Um, it is expensive, but the payoff is you've got an amazing car. So that's it. That's my video. Um, hopefully I'll post some more stuff. You know, I've got a family and kids and a life and all that other stuff. So I'm not going to be paying, uh, paying too much attention to this. It's just the fact that I own it. I'm pretty happy about it. Um, what I can fix on my own, I'm going to try and do. Oh, I should show you guys the, mo show you guys the motor real quick. It's actually pretty impressive. It's very clean. With the check engine light on and all. <laughs> it's a very clean motor. Check this out. Look at that. Clean. Very clean. Um, everything's there. I don't know what that is. If somebody knows or has seen this before, let me know. They put 
tape over here. It looks like there was a screw or something. I don't know. I'm not sure what was going on there. I'll find out today at the dealership. Um, but everything seems legit. It doesn't leak oil. Power steering, I've noticed it's squealing, so I don't know if that's either the fluid or if it's going bad. And I'm hoping it's the fluid, which I think this is... I don't know, I have to look. But it may very well be just the fluid. Or, <laughs> in this car, with my luck, it is the whole thing, the whole column. But yeah, no, it's clean. I mean, that's pretty impressive, so... Yeah, there's the car. And, and all her might. So, that's it. E39 Source. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys like the backdrop of the old... Uh, Brave Stadium. And if you're in Atlanta, you know, leave a comment and you have an M5 and want to meet up or you don't and you wanted to see the car. Actually, no, maybe not that. But if you have an M5 and you live in Atlanta, feel free to reach out. We'd love to connect. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks, everybody. Bye.